that it ultimately a lot. Um, and I don't know how much of these reinforced behaviors that I learned during that period of time still benefit me today, but they're not fueled by the same thing. So I still have these habits of how I work and, and you know, being dedicated towards goals, et cetera, that I think were born of that, um, but no longer are fueled from that now. <laughs> you lay out three traits yeah. of ultra successful people. Yeah. I don't know if they're yours or if you they're know not. them somewhere. This they're is not mine. so brilliant. And yeah. when you said it, you put words to something that I have felt for a very long time. Yeah. Um, All right, guys. Um, yes. Uh, and so it's there's three traits that people may have looked at. What is up? What is? I was successful people, and when they act to pull apart, it's not you know that kind of not anything. Um, but there are people who are really. What's good, guys? Welcome. Um, I'm just gonna go over. Hey, guys. Welcome. Um. We just gonna be breaking. What's good, guys? Uh, today, um, tonight. What's good, guys? Uh, I'm gonna be going over spy. Um, hope you guys had a good weekend. I'm just gonna be going over the breakdown. What I'm expecting. This is how I'm looking at it. This is what I'm looking for. Um this week right now uh, i'm looking at spy uh right now we are in a bearish market right um so right here you guys can see uh it fell off this re previous resistance line right here at around 365 uh it was trying to go into demand to go up more but it fell fell out supply here and once it just totally fell couldn't grab any more people um we came down and we came down to right around 350 seven right now we're at we're in a demand level okay um so going forward um uh, right now i am still bearish um especially if we go lower than 350 i am bearish until the next support level on spy which is 343 um but if we go under 355 let alone 350 we are in super super bear territory all right, but until we break above 364, um, I'm not going to be looking for any really long calls um, at all. Um, but with that being said, guys, uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. This is just what I'm looking at. And uh, as you guys can see, uh, let, me look at, let me show you guys for the past month. That was the past five days. So you guys can see for the past month, uh, we have been in a downtrend for the past month um and if i go back as you guys can see at this level the four or nine level it was holding this level but when couldn't when it couldn't go up any lower anymore it fell to this next support and then you guys can see it kind of tested it and then it kind of tested there but it was it went down entirely once it fell off it fell through that uh original support this line right here this 410 line um and once it did that, it just keeps going. That's just how it is, guys. It's, it just support becomes resistance, resistance becomes support. Um, so as you guys can see, it just it clearly just breaks um, that support level. It was a previous resistance level, as you guys can see right here, um, when it broke through right there. But yeah, guys, right now, um, this is just what I'm looking at. I hope you guys get some vibe from this. If you do like this video, um, I'm going to be breaking down these more. Um, this information for you this is an investment advice this is what i'm looking at um and you can compare it to what you see in the market um but right now for tomorrow uh that's just what i'm looking at i'm looking at a 364 retest that's what i'm looking at for tomorrow we are in demand territory right now so um i'm looking for a retest right around this 364 level and then we go down or we could go here and then retest here and then go further here and then try to go for this 365 level. Or we just go here and then we just, you know, kind of chop, chop. Or we go here and then we totally go here. But I highly doubt that happens. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for a 364 retest. Um, also a 361 bounce. So I'm feeling like we can also come up here, maybe fail and then bounce here and then try to go for a 360 you know 365 but that's just what i'm looking at guys um 
my strategy for tomorrow because you have to have a strategy. You have to have a game plan. Um, you have to have a goal. It's GPS. You have to have a goal, a plan, and a support system. Um, so this is my goal tomorrow. Make a certain amount, certain percentage, um, 30, 40%. Some may say that's aggressive, but not for me. I feel like um, if the setup presents itself, of course, because we want to be taking high probability setups. So this is spy guys. This is what I trade. This is what I'm going to get rich on. This is what we're going to get rich on. Like this video. And if you guys want more of this type of information, um, if you guys get value, you guys will see tomorrow when that market opens, we'll see what it does. So um, this is just what I'm looking at. You can dot it, compare it. And next time we'll do this again. Peace. I mean, this tweet that, that went pretty viral. It was like, if you can wait a year, you can make.